we all have problems, obviously. But the most curious thing, most curious thing is somehow, somehow we have this in our head. Every time a problem happens, first question that comes from us is why me? What did I do? Why do I deserve this problem? Hmm. Hmm. What a, why am I so unique? Of all the people in the world, of all the 7 billion people who live in the world today, of all the trillions and quadrillions and gazillions of people who have lived in this world, why me? I'm so curious about that question because it is fundamentally flawed to think that we have been singled out by God who wakes up and says, Where is that guy? I'm going to give him that particular problem. Hmm. And how do we internalize this concept? But how do we internalize it? And Veda Vyasa decided, Okay, we have to give these guys a way to internalize this concept. And he gave us a way, right? So if you want to listen, if you want to internalize this concept, listen to this story. All of you know about the game of dice? Yes. Story for adults. All of you know the game of dice? No. Yes. 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 No. Come on. Yes. Yes. yes you know the game of dice. Chen. Game of dice. Right now, Chen. All kinds of things happened. Yudhishthira lost everything. Draupadi was humiliated. They walked out, blah, 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 everybody goes, okay, great. Went to the forest. What are you doing? You're my husband. You're supposed to be so powerful. Dharma Putra. You're just like sitting. Why? Do something. I've just been humiliated. What are you doing? Bhima said, Yudhishthira, just say the words. I will go and kill Duryodhana this moment. Just say the words. I will do it. He says, A king to do it. Yudhishthira said, No. We gave them a word. We played that game saying, If I lose, we will go to the forest. For? 30 years. We gave the word. I said the words. I said the words meant I, I made a promise. Even if it is something as horrible as living in the forest for 13 years, even if it is something as horrible as having been humiliated, just sucking up to it and living with it, even if it is as horrible as having been an emperor living in the forest like a nobody, after all the humiliation, we said the words. We have to live up to it. No negotiation. Yudhishthira was so sure. And this is what he told Draupadi and Bhima. Okay, easy, yeah. Huh? All right. Now, what will our, our crooked brain, our Kali Vatar, crooked brain, you know, so our Yudhishthira, he is Dharma Putra. It is easy for him to say, Namrana Yudhishthira, he did not get it. Correct? No, I did not get it. Veda Vyasa, he was a smart guy. He said, ah, I know you guys will say this. Ungulu Gata, I have had another incident. I have been at Pana Kadala. I have been at Pana Yudhishthira, the awesome, righteous person who was a pillar of strength and told his brother and his wife this is the right thing to do so you do he turned around went to the sages who were in the forest with him and said am I doing the right thing? I don't know if I am doing the right thing maybe I should go to I mean this is a wrong thing they did right? my mind is telling me I should go and fight right now and get the kingdom back I mean, we've got Arjuna and Bhima. How difficult can it be? Should I just go and fight now? He had his doubts. And 
and that is what the mind does. We are so sure, this is correct, this is not correct, absolutely certain, our consciousness never lies and it says, there is always a good hope, there is always a way, maybe we should do something, and so so, and it did tell you this year. And it is at that time when we need the higher power or a higher source more than anybody any other time in our life. So it is very important for us to always be connected to somebody who can tell us at that moment when we have that doubt. So Yudhishthira had that doubt. Yudhishthira also had this feeling of he has been singled out and he went and asked the sage or Vishivanda or that and Yudhishthira asked him so first of all, you agree it's a unique situation. Emperor losing everything, going to forest. Kind of unique, right? I mean it doesn't happen to everybody. First of all, the you have to be an emperor. And then you have to be excited on top of that. It is unique. So Yudhishthira was actually right in asking that. I am being singled out. Correct or not? He was singled out. Veda Vyasa, in his infinite wisdom, wrote this story. And the sage, as soon as he said, Yudhishthira said, I have been singled out. Why me? The sage said, Nah, you have not been singled out for me. There was a guy before you who went through the exact same thing. In fact, worse. Yudhishthira said, Really? Worse than this? He said, yeah, there was this thing called Nala and Damayanti and they fell in love with each other and there was a Swayamara. Nala went, attended the Swayamara. The gods also came to the Swayamara. They all posed as Nala in order to confuse Damayanti. Damayanti, due to the purity, was able to recognize the right Nala. They got married perfectly in love, very handsome king, very rich king, beautiful wife, one day decided by the influence of Kali, decided to gamble with his brother, gambled with his brother, lost everything and had to leave the kingdom with one piece of cloth covering his body. Amano, not a wife form. One piece of cloth each covering them had to leave the kingdom, go into the forest. Having gone into the forest, some incident, he was so hungry and there were some birds. At least the birds here would try to get some meal out of the manager. He tried to take this one piece of cloth that was uh, covering him, tried to catch those birds. Unfortunately, the birds caught that cloth and flew away with it. He was standing in the middle of the forest, naked. And the Swishi told you this to up. Dude, yeah, you are in the forest. You should have like sages around you, your brothers around you, your wife around you. Stop complaining. You think you are as bad as Nala? Even when there is such a situation, when we feel we have been singled out, rest assured there has always been somebody in history who has faced it before. Whatever the situation, doesn't matter what. And Veda Vyas told the story. In the government, he said, Nala went on, got a boon from Kakrotaka, finally figured out a way to come back to this place. Disguised himself for many years and eventually learned the game of dice from uh, the king of Ayodhya. Went back to his brother, played with his brother, won back the kingdom and lived happily ever after. So don't worry, you will also live happily ever after one day. I told him the story and put his fears to rest. But the meaning is that no matter what the problem is, no matter how difficult an exam is, no matter how difficult the work situation is, no matter how Unique, you think your fight with your life is that's all is something that has happened before in your life. You are not single. That is the 
lesson. 